Stolen cars found by police in a lake end up reopening a decades-old mystery. As time goes by and evidence disappears, the chance of making a breakthrough in the investigation of a cold case is slim. That is, except for the time that two separate decades-old cold cases solved themselves in Oklahoma. In 1969, three people driving a 1950 Chevy were reported missing. They were never found. A year later, a similar thing happened when three teenagers vanished. They were last seen driving a 1969 Camaro. After all this time, most people would have probably accepted the fact that these cases would most likely never get solved. Yet, that couldn't be further from the truth. Most cold cases never get solved, but in Oklahoma, something strange occurred. It all started when Jimmy Williams, Leah Johnson, and Michael Rios went missing while on their way to a football game on November 20, 1970. He told mom he was going to a ball game in Elk City, said Jimmy's younger brother, Gary. One could only imagine what the disappearance of his older brother must have felt like for young Gary Williams, who was only 12 years old at the time that his 16-year-old brother disappeared until half a century later when the truth was revealed now nearly 50 years later there's been a breakthrough in the case Jimmy Williams Chevy Camaro was found with three bodies inside at the bottom of Oklahoma's Foss Lake by police divers who were in the middle of a training exercise it must have been quite a surprise for the unsuspecting cops the police officers weren't looking to work on a case but that's certainly what ended up happening Immediately, it became clear that their plans for the day had to dramatically change so they could investigate further. Yet, the car wasn't all they found. They also discovered a second car in the lake, which also had three bodies inside. There's a lot of ifs about the whole situation for both vehicles, said Foss Lake Park Manager Barry Hardaway in an interview. Some of these ifs were pretty suspicious. The bodies were later identified as the remains of 69-year-old John Alva Porter and his friends Nora Duncan and Claiborne Hammock. They had been declared missing nearly 50 years prior. This came as a shock to Porter's granddaughter, Debbie Porter McMahon. There was no trace at all, Debbie said. I mean, my grandpa just left the house, Cleveland left his job, Nora left her home, and they were gone. Their families were relieved to have some closure, but many questioned the circumstances of these deaths. You wouldn't believe some of the theories they had had. Police couldn't rule out the possibility of foul play, with people suggesting everything from a series of serial killer attacks to Mexican drug cartels, and even the idea that those missing had been kidnapped by hippies. I was very suspicious that we might have unearthed somebody's place they'd been hiding bodies said Oklahoma Highway Patrol Trooper George Hoyle. Perhaps this wasn't as closed as people wanted to think. Despite the sense of closure that came from the discovery of these vehicles, the victims' families still had questions. I think that out of those six people, there would have been at least one person who got out, said Gary. One would think. It's strange how two separate nights out so long ago ended in such an eerily similar fashion. We might never know just what happened all those years ago, but at least there can be some closure for the families of the victims. Share this mystery with your friends below.